How's it going? Today, we're gonna try to take off the air box and the turbo inlet. This is a Audi 1.8T MK1, and this is the AWP motor. But they should be the same no matter which motor you have. I believe a few of the hoses change on the inlet pipe, like the, the position of the hoses. But if not, this is mostly for the 1.8T AWP motor. Um, you're going to need a 10 millimeter, a flathead, and maybe some hose clamps to cut these one time use factory clamps. Nice. But for now, you need a 10 millimeter. Take off this bolt right here. Mine's already out. And then there's going to be a second one right here. Um, first, let's remove the mass airflow. Be careful with this clip. Always take pictures of the way it was before you start unclipping stuff, if you're not really sure, just so you can have a good point for when you're reconnecting wires and you're not looking for, oh my God, which wire did I miss? Flathead. Use your flathead. I'm just loosening my diverter valve since I'm here. After you've taken off that 10 millimeter, this should come up. It'll still be gentle because we still got the breather hose over here connected to it. Make sure you disconnect everything before trying to remove so you don't break anything. Air box should come straight up. Put that to the side. Take off the diverter valve. If yours is factory, you would have had another clip here that you would have to break. But I have the Forge Motorsport diverter valve. Make sure you hold on to it. You don't want that happening to your diverter valve. It's better to use two hands, but 
I'm recording, so it's kind of hard. Also, set that to the side. See, here we do with one of the factory clips that we have to break. We just have to do the bottom one. The top will stay connected for now. It would be better if you have wire cutters. All I have is needle nose. So I'm going to try to cut it with this middle part. I can't break it with the needle nose. I'm definitely gonna need wire cutters. But if you keep tugging on it, you might be able to slide it out. There you go. I'll cut it afterwards. Now let's um move on to the next part over here. After For the next part, you might have to go underneath the car. Still got a few holes to take off on top, but I had to go underneath and there is a five millimeter hex that bolts into the inlet that holds the inlet into the turbo but we'll get to that afterwards it should be separate from this rubber I had a little seal right here, but this is what we were fighting against to pull it out. But now we at least have the air box off. To continue on to the air inlet, I went underneath the car and I unbolted a hex. It was on this piece. Let's finish removing this. Just have one more clip. And then at least this part is off. See the rest of it. Now we're gonna move to the bottom of the car. Right up here. There's a five millimeter hex nut that I had to take out. There's the bottom of the inlet. And then right here was the other hose that I told you. We had to break the clip. And I'm trying to look from here. I don't see anything else that would be holding it in place.
Oh, look. A hose clamp I dropped earlier. It fell. That's awesome. For right now, I'm going to try to put the flathead in there and see if I can start prying on it. You know, this dude has been closed up since factory, so you know it's going to be a very, very, very tight seal. The way it's looking, might have to get a pry bar down here. Most likely has another gasket with an O-ring in there that's making it hard to get to. Well, I'll be right back with a sturdier flathead. Couldn't find a flathead, but I got a big pry bar. I used the combination of the flathead and the pry bar. I kept forcing the flathead in there till I got a big enough lip to start pulling on it with the pry bar. I've been down here for about 30 minutes, maybe 40 minutes, like prying on it. Eventually it got loose. Now I could just, now I could just pop it up, but it wasn't that easy. I'm guessing I had a, I had a nice tight seal. I don't see any O-rings on here. Maybe just because it's metal on metal and it's been sealed for so long on the factory. Here it is from the top. Here's the factory air inlet. Sorry, the turbo inlet. I'm waiting for my Folger Motorsports. I brought their silicone hose kit that's gonna go in there right into the air inlet. But for now, if you found this video helpful, Please like, comment, and subscribe. Share to other people. Here if I can. I'm going to put a rag inside of the turbo. Just in case. I don't want any mosquitoes or bugs or dirt getting in there.